so I feel like I'm going to go and talk to this cunt first. It's a bonus, I don't care if cunts are going to have me attack me. Archer, where is Humboldt? I tried to console him, but he pushed me away. I love the boy, I do. But I fear what would happen if he took his father's title. He's fragile and scattered. I saw him ride north, following the paved Roman road. To the old tall tree where he often passed time with his father, I imagine. What devil put you up to all this deception? I wasn't put up, Eivor. I felt compelled to carry on for the good of the Shire. Until I knew the truth. A pretty answer for an ugly lie. Hmm. What is it? A fight? <laughs> yeah! I will get all these old things and that later and just try to do this quest so you can see like each quest line's different in each area but they all end up with storming a castle or something. Eivor, <laughs> what a pleasant surprise. Would you drink with me? Humboldt. Come, s sit, sit. Stay with me a while and contemplate... Commentate. Contemplate the view. Collect yourself, Unwald. There's many a man in Lincolnshire who would pay to see your head on a pike. Well, they can wait a moment. Do not gorge on grief, nor give in to sadness, but let your aching love light the meat of your eyes and lead you to triumph. That is quite lovely. My father would have liked you. He liked all those who could swing a sword and speak a verse with ease. He and I used to wander up this way all the time. He would take me hunting, and I would catch the m most wretched little things if I caught anything at all. I was a rubbish hunter. <laughs> but he always said he was proud. Each and every time. A toast. To your father, Lord Hunbeorth of Lincolnshire. He may have dwindled from this world in death, but in life he was as stalwart as this tree. The wives are old oak. Yes. Skull. Skull. <laughs> and then, and then my father says, 
It's the right goat, but it's the wrong end. What the fuck? <laughs> 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 oh, my Swanborough loves that one. <laughs> she has a great sense of humor, my lady love. Father would have liked her. Right, your Dane lady love. She sounds lovely. Too lovely to be real. You know what? We should visit her. We should go to Brimsky, uh, G uh, Grimsby. Yes, yes, there's no time to lose. After you. Yeah, Nothing sure. like drinking and riding to jostle your troubles away. And the contents of your gut. Now come and enjoy the splendor of my shire. You Saxons and your tiny splendor. You've never seen mountains, have you? Or deep fjords, like a giant's axe wound. Or towering falls that steam in the dead of winter. Snow sparkling like a blanket of jewels. That is splendor. Well, if your homeland is so splendor... ...full, why come to England at all? Ah, uh, you can't grow crops on a blanket of jewels. <laughs> Very true. I'll admit, your countryside... Thus take the breath away. Quite so, quite so. I love this land. And should I follow my father's footsteps, I shall do my solemn duty to protect her. I know many think me foolish and experienced, but I would ask that they judge me by my future hopes, not my past reputation. If I am given sway over this land and show myself to be a poor leader, shame me, punish me, of course. But give me that chance. My God, I just want to have that chance. How far away is fucking Grimsby? Fucking hell. Yeah, I'm guessing it's so. What was that? Birds, Eivor! Has no one told them today is a day of grief? What? Stop here. Something isn't right. I'll find the trouble before it finds us. That's it. Right. So slow. Just have a seat. Fuck off. Standing there telling me I'm fucking slow. Well, let me speak to you. 
Why wouldn't you let me?